Sports Video Group is coming to you from the 2016 NAB Show. Brandon Costa reporting for SVG. Have the pleasure of being joined by David Ross, CEO of Ross Video. He just came off the stage at the company's Sunday press conference. Did a great job up there, David. You look like you're having a lot of fun. It was. There's a lot of energy in the audience, and that, that just, yeah, you have a great time because of that. Well, you had a lot of announcements, as you usually do at this yeah. time of the year. But uh, you, or, right, <laughs> you really capped it off in a big way with the introduction of the Acid Cam, which, as you mentioned on stage, is the first time the company is moving into the camera market. So that's, right. that's got to be very exciting. So uh, I'll ask the simple question, why? And what is it that makes this uh, product special in your eyes? Okay, so one of the reasons is, is uh, we saw in non-sports application well you know what we have a lot of augmented reality and virtual sets now in sports so i have to remember that 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 the chroma keys just didn't look very good mm -hmm. and and it was because of 422 video in the end it's the, the chroma that you're trying to figure out what the edge is is only accurate to about every second pixel and as a result hair doesn't look right edges don't look right it zings up and down the sides of arms and things like that so we yeah. wanted to fix that finally and the only way we could do that was by creating a new type of camera which gives out a 044 output as well as a 422 output. So it's great for regular production. And then when combined with the no Ultra Chrome HR high resolution chroma keyer that does 444, now you have the best of both worlds. You have fantastic chroma keying and a fantastic camera. And the specs on this camera are second to none and the pricing, which we haven't released yet, <laughs> you're gonna find it to be extremely competitive as well. And it's, it's just one more way for Ross to offer just an end-to-end -end solution for for live sports. That's great. I'm sure it's really gonna it grabs a lot of people a lot of people's attentions this week at the show. It's gonna be the talk of the show. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> All right. Well, to get back into your the company's bread and butter here, production switchers. Mm. Uh, you guys uh, introduced a couple of new versions of Carbonite Black. Uh, Carbonite Black, which is really only a, a year old at this point. That's right. Uh, kind of one on the high end, one on the low end. Why do you kind of want you kind of walk us through those? Absolutely. Well, we saw an opportunity where. You know, at the low end with Carbonate Black Solo, we wanted to be able to get in as low as $4,000 for people to own their very first one rack wow. unit, you know, nine input Carbonate with all the features of Carbonate, dashboard, view control, everything. Mm -hmm. And so we think that that's going to open up a whole new market for a whole new class of customers that really couldn't afford a Carbonate before. Mm -hmm. And a whole bunch of ways that people can use the features of this production switcher like a jackknife in many ways. At that price, it's going to go everywhere. At the high end with Carbonite Black Plus, we, want, we, we really wanted to be able to just up the game and put frame synchronizers, format converters, color correctors on all of the 36 inputs and on 12 of the outputs as well and add two more multi-viewers and a whole bunch of other things without giving up any of the processing capability uh, of Carbonite Black and keeping it in 2RU and we accomplished that just one year after we launched Carbonite Black. Amazing. Hey, you guys didn't forget about Acuity either. Hey, you got Acuity double down. Uh, so what are the new features that make that an especially uh, oh, wow. special step forward? Well, with Acuity, with version 4 software, for example, we really raise the bar of what Acuity can do. And, and we feel quite confident now that we can look at any other major production switcher in Acuity's class and say we do everything that every single one of them do for all those major features and now Acuity does even more. So when we looked at that, we decided with Double Down, we redesigned the left-hand side of the, uh, of the control panel. It was actually one of the plans from the very start, but it was time to do it now, which doubled the number of buttons of our source taking, doubled the number of displays, and add, added a whole new way of controlling those buses and stuff like that. So it really ups the game and the usability of Acuity in things like live sports. All right, real quickly, let's get some graphics in. Express, expression uh, has really been a, a huge product for the company the last handful of years. Yep. A lot of clients getting involved with it, especially on the sports side. Yep. Uh, you showed a little bit of a demonstration of your relationship with the Atlanta Falcons and the new Tessera uh, platform. Yes. Uh, it seems like a really exciting opportunity for both the company and for content creators out there looking to up yep. their graphics game. Yes, so uh, we did two things. Uh, for the Atlanta Falcons and now for all the stadiums, we're actually launching Expression Tessera, which is a system that allows you to have an infinitely large canvas. Actually, I misspoke myself. The canvas is limited currently at two billion pixels by two billion pixels. So That's we it? Call, yeah, so we call that virtually, you know, <laughs> uh, virtually infinite. But really what the point is, is when you've got those 8K, 21K, maybe a 30K wide screen, the things that we see in sports stadiums today, we need to be able to handle that without stretching an image. We want to have every single pixel being driven directly 
from expression for that ultra sharp display and being able to do those big bam moments where all of those pixels line up all at once frame accurately and that's what Tessera is all about. We're also launching Expression Quad, right. which is the other huge thing, which is now not only do we have an infinite layer, infinite layered uh, channel, we now have four channels coming out of Expression where we used to have two. So Expression is just doubled and then infinitely doubled. There's, uh, there's no end to the stuff we're doing right now. Well, that's only the tip of the iceberg of what you guys are up to this week, too. So, uh, David, thanks a lot for taking a couple minutes, and uh, enjoy your NAB. Hey, thank you. I really appreciate the interview. Of course. Great. For more of Sports Video Group's coverage of the 2016 NAB show, you can visit us online at sportsvideo.org.